Hello everyone, we just rode Dragonfire and Wild Beasts. Both of them, that I was really... pretty Wild Beast. Yeah, but both of them, I think they're like really underrated, like actually. Many people don't like Dragonfire because it's a bit of a headbanger. I do agree with that, but I like it because it's like, it's got great inversions. It, the inversions are buff. It's like the turn, the second, the turn after the second loop is uh, uh, pretty, you, you get a lot of headbanging uh, during, you get a lot of headbanging during the, the turn after the second loop. Um, but it's not that bad. Dragonfire, I definitely think it's underrated. It, it's it's actually it's okay. Wild Beast was wild. Wild Beast was it was great. Um, once you drop, you st it, the restraint staple you in just like Skyhawk. But the thing about this is, um, well, the restraints are like uh, the normal uh, classic wooden roller coaster restraints. I have no idea who it, um, who made Wild Beast. I really don't care, but like I kind of do. Um, where are we going? Alex, where did you go? But yeah, anyways, we just rode uh, Dragonfire. Dragonfire was pretty good. Uh, it was it was okay actually. Wild Wild Beast. Um, there's a lot of floater air time. There's a lot of ejector air time at the end. The end is so compact, you feel like your head's gonna get chopped off by the wind restraints. It's actually pretty wild. I think it's underrated too. I think it's pretty okay. We're about to go. Up. We're we're in line for the bat right now, as you guys can see in the background. Then we're gonna move to the second half of the park. We're like in the first half right now. But yeah, Dragon Dragonfire, okay. Wild Beast, definitely underrated.